that moment, you know, you just, you look to the sky and you just think, thank you very much. You know, that's the, the biggest ever carp that I've ever caught in my whole life. I saw a picture of a really, really big fish in, um, on Instagram. I've done a little bit of research and uh, found out where the fish was. And um, out of respect to the locals, I'll, that will remain confidential. You know, I came here to catch it, not um, to destroy the water for the locals. In my mind, on, when I come here, it is all, all about one carp. But usually, as you catch fish along the way, they're like pieces of the puzzle, you know. And when, when you're fishing somewhere that's really low stock, and this lake is extremely difficult, don't make any bones about it. I've been looking every day, you know, round in the boat, going around looking in the edges at the spots and stuff and I've not seen any signs of carp. You know, I, I caught one before the big one. You know, I caught a 29 pounder three or four days in, but I've been, I've working my sucks off. I've been, been here relatively on my own. I've been looking around in the boat, looking at baiting, I've been baiting spots. Every, every clean bit of ground, I've been throwing a handful of bait on. I don't mean 10 kilos. I'm literally talking one handful on each spot and each day I'm checking them. Nine times out of 10, the birds are having them. But on the third day, I saw a fish near the spot, the bait had gone put the rig there immediately and caught the fish that afternoon, you know, just a couple of hours later. I've been here 13 nights. I think it's 13 nights I've been here. So I caught one after three days and I've had nine nights with absolutely nothing. And to be honest, it's been overcast, it's been raining, it's been dull, it's been freezing cold north easterly. So I've just not seen any signs of fish. But yesterday, come midday, the sun came out. It really came out. And then by three o'clock in the afternoon, it was hot down to a t-shirt and the back of the wind you could just see all the reeds just glowing up you know really really warm and uh, I took to the boat about five o'clock in the evening and uh, I saw one common by the reeds I carried on going down the reeds and then I saw a little 20 pounder just come flying out the reeds all the reeds were knocking from side to side as he spooked and come flying out and uh, as he shot off that way I heard I was like what was that and I looked round and there was a, a boil on the surface the size of the boat and I was like, oh my God, that had to be a really big fish. And it had to be, the size of the boil it was no Mickey Mouse fish. This was a serious carp. But having put it out there like that, I was thinking, it's the full moon tonight. You know, my per previous biggest ever fish from um, Belgium was caught on the, on the night of the full moon. And it's actually my mum's birthday today. So uh, my mum died in the summer. And to, to sit here this morning, thinking of that, that it was her birthday, it's been the full moon. I'd seen it the day before. And then to have the screaming take at, at six, seven o'clock this morning, I knew it was that fish before I even touched the rod, you know, just because I'd seen it, because of the situation, yeah, I knew. Thirty-three point six. Oh my god! You just made <laughs> Yes! As a person first, what's that in pounds? Thirty-three point six. Oh, that's just Rush, that rush you get when you've caught a target fish or a really special fish and you're buzzing, you're just buzzing your head off. I need a moment, you know, I need to compose myself, shaking from the morning's coffee, the adrenaline. So many people, I imagine watching this, will say, it's all right for him, if I could do two weeks, if I could do three weeks, I would do what he does. It's not about ability, it's about, it's how much do you want something, how mentally tough, how rough can you get, you know? I've had two bucket washes in almost three weeks away from home, and that's boiling up lake water and scrubbing myself down with radox with a, a ripped in half towel. And it's my holiday, you know, I'm doing this in my free time. This is not what I'm paid to do. I do this because I want to do this, not for any other reason. And uh, it's because I want to target my own goals and, and the fish that I want to catch.
you want something enough, if you really want it, you can have it. Anyone can have whatever they want, they just have to want it enough. And if you spend your whole life doing something, and then on a certain day you do it better than you've ever done it before, then today's a good day. You know, today's a great day.